Welcome back everybody, Patrick here, moving on to another question with the weighted average cost of capital section. This question here, I typed out in lecture notes, the link is in the description box if you want to print that out instead of writing all of this here. So a uh, computer company sells software and hardware in two divisions. The software division has the same risk as another software company that has an equity of $3 million, debt of $2 million, yield to maturity of 6%, and an equity beta of 1.6. Risk free rate is 3%, market return is 7%, and tax rate is 30%. If the company has a weighted average cost of capital of 9% and the hardware division is 30% of the firm, what is the weighted average cost of capital of the hardware division? So fairly unique question. We haven't covered one like this before. Notice that there are multiple divisions in this company, each with their own weighted average cost of capitals. So let's show what's going on in a diagram. So we got a company and it's got two divisions. So one division is software and then another division is hardware. And the hardware division is 30% of the value of the company. So that means that the software represents 70% of the company. It doesn't say that, but we can assume so because a company only has two divisions. This is 30%. That's going to be 70%. Now, we're also told that the company as a whole has a weighted average cost of capital of 9%. And the question is asking us, what's the weighted average cost of capital for the hardware division going to be? Let's uh, label that as weighted average cost of capital subscript H. So that's what we are going to be solving for. And then the weighted average cost of capital for the software, we are not given that, but we are given enough information where we can figure that out. However, before getting there, how can we relate the weighted average cost of capital of the company and the weighted average cost of capital of the two separate divisions? Well, we can just take a weighted average cost of capital or a weighted average of the weighted average cost of capitals. So let me uh, write that out. So the weighted average cost of capital for the company is going to be 0.7 times the weighted average cost of capital for the software plus 0.3 times the weighted average cost of capital of the hardware. Well, in order to calculate that weighted average cost of capital for the hardware division, we need to input something for this variable and this variable. We could only have one unknown in an equation to solve for it. Weighted average cost of capital of the company, that is 9%. And then we're going to have to input a weighted average cost of capital for the software division. And then we can solve for that weighted average cost of capital of the hardware division, which is what the question is asking us to do. So let's go over the information for the software company. We're told they have equity of $3 million and debt of $2 million. So debt is $2 million. Let's just keep that as $2. Equity is uh, $3 million, which means that the assets of the company is going to be $5 million. Then we're also told that the yield to maturity is 6%, which is the return on debt. And then the return on equity is what? They actually don't give us the return on equity. We're going to have to calculate that. They tell us that the equity beta for this company is 1.6. And then they also give us the risk-free rate and the market return. So we know the return on equity using the Kappa model is risk-free rate plus beta times the market return minus the risk-free rate. Now, this whole bracket is the market risk premium. Usually you're given that in questions, but notice in this question, they give you the market return. This is not the same as the market risk premium. So be careful with that. So this 7% is gonna be this RM here. It's not gonna be that whole bracket, that whole premium. 
So we got the risk-free rate of 3%. We got a beta of um, 1.6. The return on the market is seven, and then we're gonna be subtracting that risk-free rate. So the market risk premium is 4%, 7% minus 3%. And when you do that calculation, you end up getting 9.4% for the return on equity. So notice that now we have enough information to calculate what the weighted average cost of capital of this other software company is going to be. So the weighted average cost of capital for the software is going to be the debt over the assets, so 2 over 5, times the return on debt of 6%. You got to take that on an after-tax basis. Tax rate is given as uh, is given at thirty percent, so that's one minus 0 0.3 plus the uh, equity portion. So three over five times the return on equity of nine point four, which we just calculated. And when you do that calculation, you end up getting seven point three two percent. So that's the weighted average cost of capital for the software company. However, since the software company has the same risk as the software division of the computer company, that means that the software division has a weighted average cost of capital of 7.32. So now that we have all of that, we can actually plug that into this equation that we talked about at the beginning. So we got nine equals 0.7 times the weighted average cost capital for the software division, 7.32. And now notice that there is only one variable to solve for, the weighted average cost capital for the hardware division. So let's just label that as x. So we'd have 0.3x over here. So when you solve for x, multiplying these two terms, bringing it over, subtracting it from 9, then dividing both sides by 0.3, you end up getting an x value of 12.92%. So that is the final answer. That's the weighted average cost of capital for the hardware division. Right, so not too bad. Basically, this question, we had a company split up into two divisions, so we had to work with two weighted average cost of capitals. And then the weighted average of those weighted average cost capitals from the two divisions gives us the weighted average cost capital for the company overall. But we were given the weighted average cost, uh, weighted average cost capital for the company, and we had to find the weighted average cost capital for one of the divisions. So to do that, we first had to calculate the weighted average cost capital for the software division, and we did that with another software company that had the same risk did that calculation, and then we were able to solve for that variable. 12.92% is your final answer.